Zepa Bay, Thursday fishing, and I'm going to put a shark bait out quickly. I put a, uh, took a mackerel head, and I put some shark fillets and mackerel fillets around it to just make a nice, nice little throw bait. I wanted to put this on the grinder, and I'll show you guys why when I get it on the grinder. Okay, guys, like I said, another rod to be broken into, but this is a, a rod I'll run you guys detail through it in a different video because you're fishing you don't have time to run through everything but this is a new saltist grinder elite we've been waiting for this guys this is a 15 foot a fantastic fantastic rod I've had a couple of uh, cars and I had the prototypes before the, the finished product arrived and this is the finished product I've paired it with a brand new saltist 8000 the new saltist I've got 48 pound Cobra braid and gator at the bottom backing there's 900 meters on and uh, fishing 180 pound leader <laughs> now what's nice about this rod it comes already with your breakaway bionic finger for casting and uh, yeah guys it's got everything but I'll, like I said, I'm not going to run through now, I'll run it uh, in detail through. So this is what I want to break in today. I need to get a, a nice, nice size fish on it. These guys fishing with kites here as well, so I hope I stand a chance casting. But, uh, I think we must get past the talking side and get a bait in the water. For all these trips, you don't want to come and sit here and make traces. You prepare, you prepare your traces before you come. So this is a full metal jacket, a FMJ, cast trace, 175 pound uh, carbon coated fish made steel. I'm fishing the tuna circle hook, the Tino and a Tino ring soy, mustard. And I'm fishing them close together. Now the reason I put the extra hook in the bottom, you'll see when I, when I hook it up, is just for that uh, additional security. To make sure you get the hook up, should it miss the circle, should the circle miss it, um, which is not 99% of the time the circle gets it. We just want to make 100% sure we will. There we go. And yeah, I'm using the new. 80 swivels and that prevents your cable from kinking that goes down on a bead i've got a little crimp here that's a hook and that's my sinker line and that's pretty much it simple okay there we go ready to go So nicely. The whole thing with these rods is you must be able to load them properly, properly, and then they'll work. 
then you'll get the distance. No, we won't. It's a good bite, good fight, safe landing, great photos. put bait on your hooks. The crabs are wild, so it's not the best bait when the crabs are head baits better. What you need to do is just try and keep it long enough so that the shark can find it. And the tide's turned now. And I think we're close to that. And also at the same time, test the new salters. Grind a leaf. Big bait casting. There we go, that's a nice catch on teeth. We hope it will last long enough with the curves. Here we go. I was able to quickly stop this fish due to the braid and the smooth drag on the Dawa Saltist. to leave the fish out there for a while to see what it's going to do and where it's going to go. Ultimately you just want to guide a big fish, putting enough pressure to point its head in the direction you want it to go. I was quite impressed with the backbone of the new Saltus Grinder Elite. Due to the X45 propriety 
technology, the cross meshing allows a more gradual power distribution throughout the road. This puts a lot more power in the rod and allows you, the angler, to pull a bit harder. What worked against me a little bit was the fact that it was low tide in a very calm sea. No waves to just push it over. Now when the fish gets closer to the side, this is where most anglers will lose a fish when you do. I nearly had to rely entirely on the rod's pulling power. Nice fish. 